for you that house fire in Spartanburg that the coroner is responding to. It happened on La Pere Drive. We head straight to our 7 News reporter, Melanie Palmer. She's been on the scene uh, for about an hour now. So, Melanie, what have you figured out? Ben, I can tell you right now, this neighborhood here is very much filled with tears. The details around it all are still very slim. However, a fire chief with the Spartanburg Fire Department told us that did confirm that it is a fatal fire. The coroner also confirmed with us he's here on the scene. This is just off La Pere Drive, and it's the La Pere Mobile Home Park, not too far off of Newcut Road in Spartanburg. As you can see here, everything is still very active. The investigation still very much ongoing. A lot of different crews here on scene trying to figure out what can happen. As you can see here we're being told to back up just because they are still investigating here so we're going to move out of their space a little bit um, obviously to give them as plenty room as they need and and we're hoping to bring you more information once they are able to come and talk to us but right now what we do have confirmed is that there was an emergency helicopter here on the scene about an hour ago taking someone away from here we do not know the extent of injuries or what exactly that all entails as we mentioned the coroner is here on scene and a fire chief did confirm as well that this fire was fatal now we're told it originally started at one of the homes in this neighborhood here. We don't know the cause at this point or if it spread as well. We have been talking to some people living in this area who saw a lot of smoke. Some other people told us they saw a huge amount of flames spewing from one of these homes here. So well, as mentioned, we're going to stay here on the scene. And, and once investigators are done looking through things, we're hoping to bring you more information as soon as that does become available. For now, though, reporting live in Spartanburg, Melanie Palmer, 7 News.